Greetings from the KIMS Institute for Heart and Lung Transplant. I'm Dr. Sandeep Patawa. Thoracic organ transplantation is a well-proven therapy for end-stage heart and lung disease. When patients are referred by physicians, it's generally at a time that a majority of them have a significantly diminished quality of life. They're oxygen dependent and severely reliant on caregivers for even the most basic of daily activities. It is believed that most of them would not survive for more than a few months or probably even a year without having a transplant. All of them have undergone reassessments and escalating medications, reaching almost the threshold of maximum medical therapy. And it's at this point that most of them have to turn up at our center, referred for a transplant consideration and a possible detailed evaluation. That evaluation includes disease staging, a functional assessment and an analysis of medical conditions that we would call comorbidities as well as an assessment of their social and their lifestyle factors. And once we determine that none of these factors would either prohibit a complex surgery as an organ transplant with acceptable risks, or would be predictive of them having an undesirable outcome after their transplant, only then would we consider their candidacy. Our heart and lung transplant program wait times are something that we are actually quite proud of. The majority of patients that are transplanted are generally within three months of being listed for their transplant. And this is better than and probably comparable to many of those other centers in our region. But as far as the nation goes, wait times are an average between four to eight months. And I think people should come to the Kim's Institute for Heart and Lung Transplant because we have a process, a process that understands the tailored requirements of each patient and strategizes their treatment to be able to meet those very exacting needs. Also, our outcomes are far superior than most other places. Our hospital stay after the transplant is shorter than everywhere else. And most patients would go home within 12 days of a heart transplant and approximately about 21 days following a double lung transplant. Our long-term survival after a transplant within the first year is about 95% for the hearts and 85% survival in that first year for double lungs. So this is in many ways better than what you would expect in a nation where you would compare these very same statistics with other centers. Our program has now been in existence for almost over five years. And during that time, we've developed a highly experienced team of experts that's very well accustomed to taking care of patients needing heart and lung transplants and helping them recover from these procedures with superior outcomes. I like to think of ourselves as being more like a family and we welcome all our transplant recipients and their caregivers into this very extended family. We all strive to be able to establish this enduring and perennial relationship between all of us. And especially since we believe that we need to know what's going on with our patients' health and their welfare. And we want them to share these fine details and nuances because I truly believe that this is exactly what provides the success to undergoing not just a successful transplant, but having great outcomes in the short, medium and long term. Thank you so much.